host, Kareem, for Sports Recall. We are here again, of course, at the Robert Sacre signing. I've been interviewing everybody, and it came to me, maybe I want to interview Robert Sacre. How you doing, man? <laughs> Welcome to the show. Good to be here. Now, uh, you know, kind of this being your first signing here in L.A., how'd it go? What'd you think about it? It was fun. Definitely get to meet my fans, you know, uh, give back to the fans. That's what really matters, and I'm just glad to be here. Right, and, and kind of had a, a good blend of everybody, young, old, male, female. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt. Uh, it was, you had people from Provo coming to visit ah. me, and you know, it was just, just crazy, you know. I didn't think people would travel that far. I guess you, you never know who's going to show up. Yeah, but no. You, you, know. you bring up an interesting point. You said you don't know who's going to travel that far. Right. Looking at yourself, looking at your career. Born in Louisiana, raised in Canada. Mm -hmm. I've been to Louisiana. Okay. I've also been to Canada. You can play a little ball in Canada if you can believe that. Okay. There's a few similarities. You know, they, there's, there's people in both places. Um, but there's a lot of differences. No doubt. Uh, it was just, uh, it, it helped me grow as a person and as a man. I got to see different diversity and be a part of different cultures. And so I can use that and better myself and better my family by, like, growing and helping me be a better man. I see. Growing up in Canada, you, you didn't gravitate towards hockey. Nah. You didn't gravitate towards curling or any of the other, you know, just things people might joke about or what with Canada. But, um, you know, what, what were you as far as basketball? Like, what teams did you watch growing up or what player did you watch growing up that made you think, you know what, I, I want to get down on the, on the basketball court? Well, I, went to, I got to Vancouver when the Grizzlies were there, so we had Sharif. Uh, Bibby, Michael Dickerson, uh, we had a, a big group of guys that I, I always looked up to for the Grizzlies and uh, when they left it was kind of tough to follow basketball but I just followed Seattle and then Seattle left and it just became a, you know, luckily I got to college so. Right, so you were a, you were a man I, on the mission. Yeah, I was kept, a man, they kept leaving They kept me, taking so, basketball yeah, away from So Canada. I had to go find it, you know, I was fortunate enough to find it at, uh, in high school and um, got me to where I'm at now. Okay. High school ball. Obviously, you're getting recruited by a few places, mm -hmm. but you ended up at Gonzaga. Go Zags. <laughs> of course. What made you decide to go that route as opposed to some of the other schools that were looking at you, the other coaches that were calling and sending the letters? First and foremost, we're America's team, so like I can't really say anything else. You know? <laughs> uh, Definitely, uh, it had everything I wanted. You know, the coach never really lied to me. I graduated. I'm here. I made it to where I wanted to go, and um, everything I wanted from that school, I got. So it was the best decision for me. You made it to the NBA. You're living that dream. But you mentioned graduating. I mean, you got your degree. That was probably harder than basketball, but I managed to do it. And, uh, I'm, I'm very, A proud accomplishment. Yeah, very proud. And. Um, I'm really I'm happy to be where I'm at and know that I have a degree. You know, talking about Gonzaga, the first two guys I'm going to think of, of course, we had Austin Day on the show earlier, a teammate of yours. Uh, also, Roni Toriyaf, my man Roni. Uh, comparing the two of those guys, because I, I kind of I got issues with both of them. I could say I'm almost in between both. Okay. So that'll uh, balance it out a little bit. Oh, okay. If, let, let's say... If you caught both of them under the rim, which one are you dunking on first? Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, they, they used to, you know, you're all zag, but you're not teammates anymore. You know, this is the NBA. This is the business now. Who, uh, who's, who's ending up in the poster? Oh, that's a good one. You know, I really, I want to say Roni just for the fact that he, he's old. He is, <laughs> you know, I want to say Roni, but... Austin, I'll just try to give him an elbow and try to push him underneath the guys. Okay, so it, it, it just it depends on the day. The, you know? the, the old man gets dunked on and the thin man gets bowled out of the way. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, that's, that's so fair. I have to, you know, figure out, pick my poison. That's fair. We keep going down the timeline. At Gonzaga, obviously things are going well. Mm -hmm. Right before the draft comes up, what thoughts are running through your head? Am I going to get drafted? You know, I. I, I Supreme confidence that I would be getting drafted, but you never know. So um, that whole draft day was a, a, probably the longest day, and that whole draft was probably the longest experience of my life. 
and I was uh, lucky. Luckily enough, I was picked the final pick, so I say best for last. Well, listen, I've been asking you a few questions, getting to know you a little bit about your whole basketball career. But as always, we're going to reach out to the fans. This is Sports Recall. Got a couple questions that came in from some people on Twitter. So you ready oh. to, to answer those? You go ahead. Shoot. Yeah. Don't worry. We, we did screen because it is Twitter, but I ain't worried. rated PG. <laughs> I ain't worried. <laughs> so first, we got our man Anthony in Corona who wants to know, how do you feel uh, Mark Few, Coach Few over at Gonzaga, for those that don't know, and the Zags, how did they prepare you or, or what about that best prepared you for life in the NBA? Well, during the whole process of being Gonzaga, I didn't know if it was going to prepare me. And then when I look back, all this stuff that I went through at Gonzaga and Coach Few, you know, really working on, like, pushing me to the, uh, to the brink of going insane, it really... <laughs> It really paid off because you know he man he helped me manage to you know handle different adversities. So I was really fortunate enough to go through all the stuff that Coach we brought. Next, we got our man Chaitan in Texas. He wants to know, uh, you know, obviously probably a new experience this year. Been very rough with the Lakers as far as injuries. If you could just take us in in the locker room, I mean, what is it like as a player? It. You know, it's been it's been a long season for the fact that you never know what the rotation is because guys are hurt and um, you're just trying to make things work. And so, it definitely, it's been it's been frustrating. Uh, everybody's frustrated with when it comes to top to bottom. You know, Kobe's frustrated with being hurt, and you know, to the twelfth guy, he doesn't know if he's going to play or not. So, it's been it's been a it's been a roller coaster. But I think. Collectively, we've all come together and really been fighting, and we really want to get to the wherever we can. We set goals for ourselves throughout this year, and uh, we just have to keep fighting through them. Okay, so gone through what college, you know, prepared you for as far as adversities, dealing with the injuries. We are going to end on a, a little bit more of a brighter note. Um, from the Laker fanatics, they want to know just overall your experience being in LA, in the city. Uh, what can you say about that? I can't complain at all. I love LA, you know. Uh, I wouldn't want to be in any other city. Uh, I'm really fortunate enough that the Lakers picked me first, and, you know, and that's all that matters. I, I couldn't care for anything else. Uh, LA, you got the weather, you got, I can't say girls, because I'm, I'm engaged, but, you know, the girls, and uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's a great city, and I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. Got it, definitely. All right, so before we get out of here, I'm just going to go over a few of your favorites. This is just kind of a, a rapid fire thing where you're just going to throw out whatever, you know, the first thing that comes okay. to mind. This but, is crazy. Yeah. This is going to be nuts. Yeah, but it'll be easy. All right. And Shoot. actually, maybe even before that. Okay. Because I break the rules sometimes. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Everybody knows it's tough being in college, right? Right. You don't have any money in your pocket. No doubt. But like you said, you're making a, a better life for yourself, a better life for your family. Right. You're going to take care. You're going to do the responsible things. For the most part. Yeah. For the most part. Right. But not all the time. So you're right. So what's the first thing i say just oh. now that you got your NBA check, the oh. first time just NBA thing you spent your money on? The NBA thing I spent my money on, you know. I you didn't my... need it, but you had to have it. You know, there's a couple of things I had to buy. Um, okay. You know, I had my college my college car and it was a Lincoln Town car and I had to, you know I had to <laughs> Got fix rid that of the back. town car. I know get rid of it. You oh, must no. be crazy. Uh, we didn't get rid of the town no. car. We upgraded it. We upgraded it. Alright, alright, break up, it down. We put it on twenty two. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, we, and we then did what the whole the, the, the paint interior, everything. Did you put the hydro on it? No, I got a sixty four on it. It's getting done right now. As we speak. Okay. okay. And then I'm done. We'll, I'm done. I'm we'll, done with we'll do that maybe in the, the, the second interview. We'll, yeah, we'll check well, in I'm on the done with you. Yeah, I'm done with the experience. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. Well, along that line, let's just say. This makes me nervous. No, no, no. No, I'm just being real. Really? I don't know what comes off the top of my mind. I, <laughs> I've been censoring myself for most of this interview. <laughs> so no, I'm we got really good. 
Yeah. We got great curious. editors. If we got no, that's cool. to you, though, you don't need to. <laughs> got it. I'll edit myself. Got it. All right, shoot. Favorite car? Impala. Not your car. I'm no, talking I, about I, I wouldn't want any other car. Okay. Uh, Not any other car. Favorite it. food? Fried chicken. <sighs> Favorite artist? Ooh. Uh, are we doing genres or are we just doing... Anything. You got a coupon that says free yeah, concert. Go You're with, cashing it in for who? I'll go with DMX, no doubt. Okay, DMX. <laughs> no doubt. Favorite movie? Um, there's too many, but you know, the one I know the back of my like the back of my hand, American Pimp. Got it. I'm not changing it up. Either. That's a classic. Yeah, you know. 95. Yeah, yeah. Don't think I know about it. Yeah, you know, I'm not changing it up. I, I'll just say. No one like the back of your hand. I know it like So the, you even know my man RP's lines. You know, two D's for a double dose of this pimpin'. You know, <laughs> there it goes. You know, I, someone has to do it. You know, it might as well be me. Got it. Got it. All right. Favorite video game? Favorite video game. Okay. Red Dead Redemption. Okay. I'm a badass. Favorite holiday to celebrate? Halloween. <laughs> what was your last costume? It wasn't my costume. Oh, but it's my, not I really the my costume. Son, I made my son wear a costume and go trick or treat. Okay, him. you just go to the Halloween parties, check out everybody else's costume. Uh, I just that my last costume, man. I don't even know what I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are you getting ideas ready for the next costume? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I, I just know Halloween's fun. Got yeah, it. That's all I, I, Halloween's a great time. You got good Halloween memories. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> favorite shoe, favorite sneakers. Ooh, and one Thai cheese. Haven't seen those in a while. Right? Which color? Ooh, I, I would go the Isaiah, because I went to Lakers, I'd go with the Isaiah Ryder ones. Okay, definitely. The, the, the yellow and purple. Definitely. And last but not least, let's say that you're going to some other celebrity sign. Mm -hmm. but this one's different. This is anybody okay. alive or dead. Okay. You get to meet alive one person. Alive or dead. Alive or dead. You got that magic wand Ooh. and you get to meet one person, talk to them for five minutes, get their autograph. Who do you pick? You know, that's a good question. Um, I don't even know. I couldn't, uh, off the top of my... For some reason, I just have Bob Marley stuck in my head. I say Bob. I'll say Bob. Oh, Bob's the man. That's, that's Bob never is a bad pick. Yeah, you know, I'll just stick with Bob. Yeah, he keeps it simple. Well, cool, cool. cool. Robert, I appreciate it. Thank you. you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sports Recall. And you know what? Funny enough, this is a true story. Mm -hmm. You talk about American Pimp. Bishop Don Juan. We got another fan here. That's oh. my man. I see him all the time. For you real. Know, gold and, what is it? Greed and gold? That's I don't even want to start. Gold is for the honey, <laughs> green is for, for the, the money. money. You know? <laughs> all right, well, green and gold, purple and gold, we talk about it all the day. Robert, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Everybody, sportsrecall.com, tune in and uh, check my man out there, up and down on the court, a little posting up. Respect. A little rebounding, yeah, a few block shots. Of course, man, do the hustle work, the dirty work. Yeah, and Austin, watch out, that bowl's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs>